Welcome to the Best 5 Minutes Movie Edition. Hi, Kendall. Hello. So, we just got done prepping this episode. Mm-hmm. And might I say, I'm ready for it. Oh, yeah, definitely. So what you got? Well, first off, I want to talk a fil- about a film that I just recently saw. <clears throat> I believe it's still playing in some parts of the country. Um, <coughs> it's uh, It's Lincoln. Oh snap! I, mean, I I ain't seen it yet. Well, don't worry. I'm not. I'm okay. First of all, we all know freaking the story of Lincoln. Okay. If you don't, then you need to go back to freaking elementary school, kids. He 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 uh he invented the airplanes, right? Yes, Max. Okay. Right after he killed all those vampires. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, there was a stupid movie called The Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. But that's not the film I'm talking about today. Today I'm talking about uh, Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. Okay. Okay. Starring Daniel Day Lewis, Tommy oh. Lee Jones, and other people I don't really care about. You want to hear me do my Daniel Day Lewis? I do. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. Slittered out of your mother's filth! Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. bully me, Daniel! I'm older than you! I am smarter than you! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, uh. <laughs> close. Okay. Hey! Huh? You know you liked that. I liked it. I Kills did. him with a bowling pin. <laughs> 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 oh, God. All right. Um, but, yeah, um, Daniel Day-Lewis did a tremendous job at, you know, showing Lincoln as a human being, not like a godlike figure, you know, not like some sort of, you know, super-powered being with a third eye under the hat. No, he just, I mean, yeah... It still felt like Lincoln was very stoic, but he was like a humble, just like a guy. It's like I really felt like I was watching Abraham Lincoln, hmm. you know. Like like I was saying, <laughs> if this film was made 50 years ago, well, more than that, like 80, 80 or so years ago, they probably would have, you know, because the film style was different back then, they probably would have made it seem more like Lincoln was this, you know, big tough guy who didn't take no for an answer and, you know, 80, cowboy diplomacy. 80 years ago? I don't know. That that'd be like <laughs> that's pretty old. <laughs> like <laughs> maybe fifty. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I have a bad yeah. idea of like time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a little better. Don't judge me, <clears throat> people. Well, I guess you're right because eighty years ago that'd be the thirties, and there wasn't like really. Yeah. There in the hand. Yeah. So yeah, like fifty years ago, back in John Wayne's day, they probably would have cast John Wayne as Lincoln, and it would have been weird. Four score and seven years ago, Pilgrim. God damn it. <laughs> hey, you. You're free now. Be on up there, little fella. <laughs> Come on, Mama Cedar. We got to make this here cattle run before dark. God damn it. Uh, Mr. President, uh, we're, we got to give the speech. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That would be so fucked up. <laughs> Mr. Does President, it... we just need three more votes and the Emancipation Proclamation will be passed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Pilgrim. God damn Mr. it. Mr. President, you have the opportunity to abolish slavery. Well, I don't know about you, but I like to let people do what they do. Now let's just settle down a little bit. Oh, God. That would be sweet. <laughs> Those cattle rustlers shoots up half the Democratic Congress. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing, though. It's like... You know, at the end of the film, John Wilkes Booth is like, oh, I'm going to assassinate the president. Not today. Pilgrim pulls out a six-shooter and wipes him out. No, no, no. He gets shot. But mm. we all know now that Lincoln lived a little bit after he got shot. Yes. Like, had they known that? I don't know if it was knowledge back then or not. But if they, if that was, like, common knowledge back when they would have made that movie, he would have still been talking and shit while he was dying. <laughs> That's true. And well... He- I guess that actually makes sense, though, because in a John Wayne picture, when John Wayne dies, that's the end of the film. So I guess they would have... Yeah, yeah would have. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, Lincoln, it was really great. Um, you know what You know what it would be called? What? Emancipator. <laughs> <laughs> that or Big Abram. <laughs> okay. God, I'm sorry. I just watched Big Jake, like, yesterday, so... And Abraham Lincoln would, for some reason, have an eye patch and a like fedora style top hat, <laughs> and he'd be like spinning like Winchesters <laughs> as he was like riding a horse with with the reins in his mouth, <laughs> slipping whiskey in the other hand. 
<laughs> single-handedly taking out the Confederate army. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, everybody who just listened to 30 seconds of me laughing in your ear. That there, was just such a beautiful you would have that like cheesy, like sentimental, like old movie moment <laughs> where it would be like the kid that's a Confederate. He's second guessing it, you know. But like John Wayne would like like or Big Abe would have just accidentally shot him. And he's like, son, <laughs> could you imagine the fucking redemption speech? Son, we all make bad choices. Now, boy, there's nothing I can do for you now. Abe, what do we all go in the in the next life? I don't know, kid. <laughs> but it's a free land. <laughs> <laughs> you may die here, and your brother may die there, but your name lives on with honor, boy. <laughs> okay. Whew. Just know that a Yankee named Samuel Colt put you down. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> put you down hard, kid. Four to five long, Colt. <laughs> I used it to put down my first wife. Oh, she yeah. was a fighter. <laughs> Why is he talking like that now? <laughs> <laughs> well, because historically, Lincoln and his wife didn't get along at all, really. Right. That was even in the film. I loved that. See, 40 you know, years ago, that, that probably wouldn't have flown. It would have, you know, they would have made it seem better. But they were able to capture the drama and the friction between Lincoln's home life and the country's stress on him. You know? And they were able to set the tone in the film without having to like, focus on the Civil <clears throat> War, really. And it was really nice. I mean, <clears throat> it opens up and it shows like one battle, but that's pretty much all you see like, of the physical brutality of the Civil War. The rest of it is just, you know... Focusing on Lincoln and you know what's going on in Washington, which I I've never really seen that before in films like Glory. It focused more on the battles and you know right. the aftermath of the battles. <clears throat> oh man, you know? Spielberg can get so gritty too. Like, yeah, everybody, everybody thinks of Spielberg like, oh, he's Mister Kid Friendly, he's Mister Aliens. Like, no, Mister Scary. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, he's he's unrealistic and and he he has child eyes. Well, yeah, he does, but that's why everything is super fucking scary when he makes it scary. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true though. I mean, he was able to make like the first minutes of ET just horrifying and real. It's it just you know, as a kid and as an adult today, it still scares the crap out of me. I can't watch that alone. Yeah, it's it's, just, it's, it's not right. But yeah, I mean, it was written well and it was directed very well. I loved the way Spielberg directed it. I, I f- it felt more like classic Spielberg. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, the uh, Spielberg uh, collaboration with John Williams, uh, yeah. a, a mu- amazing <clears throat> score for the film. Was um, the was the entirety of the movie like Lincoln riding a horse like away from a carriage? No. <laughs> <laughs> Although they did in, they did have like one of Lincoln's dreams in it, which was really cool because Lincoln was really big on his dreams. He had a lot of dreams that plagued him. Uh-huh. And I was really glad they included that, and it helped build onto the whole making Lincoln more of a more of a person, you know. Hmm. So, I mean, if you haven't got a chance to see it yet, I highly encourage you to go see it. If it's not playing anymore, uh, definitely check it up on Netflix or rent it or go buy it. It's honestly worth it. It's a great film, and I hope it does really well when it's time for awards to come out. Well, now we're going <laughs> to move from a film that I just watched and enjoyed to another film that has another man in a funny hat, except this one is not Daniel Day-Lewis in a funny hat. It's uh, Russell Crowe in a funny hat. Uh, this fi- this film is a uh, lace miss. I'm gonna butcher the name. Forgive Le- me. Le Miserable. Right. Um, <laughs> it's based off the musical, which I've never seen but heard about. Um, and you know, I was kind of skeptical on it at first. I was like, ah, uh, you know, if I had, you know, a girl, maybe I'd go see it. I mean, it looks pretty, you know, eh. And then it's like Russell Crowe in a badass hat, and I'm like, oh well, I have to go see it now. They totally know how to market to me. <laughs> And uh, Russell Crowe is king of rock and funny hats. Yeah, he is. He's just yeah. one grizzly he, man. Yeah, man. he's. I have a I have a chick friend who who has a boner for him. Well, so do I. And it's like, girl, you ain't you ain't know nothing about no Russell Crowe love. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just simmer down. We'll see who gets to him first. <laughs> But he's just so like symmetrical. The hat, it just, it's just oh, 
that hat and just oh. and, and like okay many people like he's singing in this thing right yes okay here's the thing about that like he's this actually is, like the cheat the captain of the bad guys so. okay so <laughs> people don't people may not know this russell crowe released an album uh i don't know mid 2000s early 2000s something like that i want to say and wasn't wasn't great <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like skeptical, mm-hmm. like of of that aspect. I mean, I think he wrote all the songs and everything like that too. Maybe yeah. that was part of it. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, it's not like it was a bad effort. It just wasn't. It just wasn't. It shouldn't have been like that. Well, maybe if he would have worn a hat. You know what? That I mean, he didn't have a hat. He probably needed that mojo. <laughs> you know, and and probably whenever Russell Crowe, if he, I don't know if he's made multiple albums. I just know about that one. I've listened to it all. Coincidentally, <clears throat> uh-huh. like if he ever goes back to do another album, this is what was going to make that album work. He needs, he needs to be on like a, a British like warship, and they need to put the microphone on deck. And he needs to be singing his songs with all the sailors. And then yes. that, al- that album will rock. Remember when we just break out and do that in the middle of lunch hour? Like folklore song. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Yeah. The Russell Crowe Crow could, could rock that. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, uh, there you go. And, and he's, in, he's in a bunch of other movies that are about to come out. Yeah, but I mean, you got, you got some big names in this film. You got Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, Anna Hathaway. Hugh Jackman is another dude that could probably rock a funny hat. He is rocking a funny hat in this film, and I, I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. Yeah. Um, uh, and so, I mean, I'm very excited to see the outcome of this film. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's being directed by a very competent and capable uh, um, director who hails from the UK, uh, Tom Hooper. He, he's done some pretty, some pretty good films, uh, such as The King's Speech. I really loved that. Um, so, I mean, uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be good and not just because Russell Crowe's in a hat. That's just like icing on top of the, the, the art cake for this film. So definitely keep your eyes and ears open if you want to see Russell Crowe in a funny hat or if you're just looking for, you know, a really good, uh, film to get into. So, okay. So that's, that's that. I, yeah. I don't really have anything else. I mean, no, I'll have some other movies for you guys next time. <clears throat> All right, so this has been <clears throat> Best Five Minutes of Your Life Movie, Movie Edition Number One. <laughs>